All right. Welcome back. It's Thursday, April 9th. Um, let's go ahead and let's take a look at your lesson 11 problem set. So we're going to do A, B, and C together. And you guys, the most important thing you need to do when you look at this problem set is make sure you are paying attention to these directions. So it's telling you exactly what you need to do and it really simplifies things if you pay attention to them. The rectangles below have the same area, okay? So you already know the area. What you are doing is moving the parentheses to find the unknown side lengths, okay? Then you're gonna solve for them. So what this means is we already know that all of these rectangles are gonna have the exact same area. What we have to do is think about how we would need to move the parentheses over so we can solve for these, all right? So if we take a look at this first rectangle for A, we have one side that's eight centimeters and one side that is six centimeters. So when we fill this in and we're finding area, we're doing this side times this side. So we have eight times six. Now this is just calling um, upon some basic math facts that I know we already know. We know that eight times six is 48. So our area is 48 square centimeters. So we already know for B what the area of this rectangle is because it's gonna be the same as what it is for A. So our area is already 48 square centimeters. So if we take a look at this rectangle, they've taken this rectangle and they've stretched it out, which means this side is one centimeter with an area of 48 centimeters. So I'm thinking to myself, one times what equals 48? One times 48 will equal 48. So I can fill in my missing side. All right, now C is where things start to get a little bit more complicated. So now I've got this area written here, eight times six, right? But they've broken it into two times four times six. Now let's think back to what they told us in our directions. Move the parentheses to find the unknown side lengths. All I'm gonna do is move the parentheses from these two numbers to these two numbers. And then I'm gonna solve. Okay, so my first blank, I'm just gonna drop my two down. And my second blank, I'm gonna solve for four times six. And I know that six times four is 24, so I can write that in here. So now I'm gonna go ahead in order to solve this and I'm gonna do 24 times two. 24 times two is the same thing as adding 24 plus 24 which as we already know is going to equal 48. So now let's think about what our missing side is. If this side is two, that means the other side has to be 24 centimeters. All right, and while I'm thinking about it, let's just go ahead and do one more because I think that this is a little bit more challenging of a lesson. So let's go ahead and do D. So remember, the total area is eight times six, which we already know is 48. But what we're doing is we're looking for this missing side. So we've done four times two times six is how this is set up for us. But if we go back to our directions, all we're doing is moving the parentheses over. So instead of it being around four times two, we're gonna move it so it's around two times six and we're gonna solve, okay? So I'm not multiplying four times anything else yet, I'm just dropping it down. So now I can do six times two, which is 12. So now I already know that four times 12 has to be 48 because they all have the same area. So if I look at my rectangle, I've got a side of four centimeters and I was looking for the other side. So we did four times 12, which means this missing side has to be 12 centimeters. Okay, so what I want for you to do is finish the problem set and then do the exit ticket. 
All right.